Stenobolic. SR9009. This is an incredible research chemical that I want to do a video on because it's out there in the world and I need to bring you guys what the exact science of this thing really is. This thing is absolutely incredible. I've done my research and I want to present to you today the history of this, the science of this, the clinical implications from what we know so far, and of course the anecdotal side effects from men that I've talked to that have used this, both patients and on the Anabolic Doc app where all you guys have access to me and my information, anabolicdocapp.com. Come to the meetings. So this thing is incredible. And the implications are gonna be for people that are overweight in the world, which we have an issue with in our world. It's a metabolic modulator. It's not a hormonal modulator. It's not a SARM. It's, it's not a peptide that people think of. It's not an AAS. People will talk about it that it's a SARM, but it's not. I think they're just lumping it in because it's coming from peptide sites underground. So they just say it's a SARM, but it's not a SARM. Let's go into exactly what it is and what the history is. It comes from one of the most amazing real pharmaceutical biologic research facilities on the planet, the Scripps Research Institute. Check this place out. It's Professor Thomas Burris. He is the professor that if you do the research, you'll see that's associated with developing this. And now it's just poof. Around 2013 or so, you find the research, no human trials, I need to know guys, where is it now? I can't find human trials. What, this thing is, inc this, this agent is incredible and I'm gonna explain it to you right here, potentially what it could be used for and exactly what the mechanism of action is. Here's the science from the anabolic doc. It's a circadian nuclear receptor agonist stimulates these receptors in the nucleus of the cell. It's a rev herb type. This is related to increasing genes, related to metabolism and circadian rhythm or enemy related in the mammal. This is fascinating. In the clinical trials, only on the mice, no humans yet, it had significant increase in density in the mitochondria in the skeletal muscle. And it related to the metabolism. What did it do in the mice? It, it increased their, their, their exercise, their basal ex metabolic rate. So sitting there, burning more calories, and then subclinically, from what I could assume, subclinically different workloads, they exercised, their endurance was better. This is a real ped. This is not for muscle building though, guys. This is gonna be for fat burning. This is gonna be for uh, bikers and for, it's WADA has banned it, if they can even find it. I did some research and I found their assays. They can't even really find it. Don't tell anyone that. This is crazy. Be careful with that, with cheating with this stuff. So if it works, it's gonna increase maximal VO2 max and submaximal VO2 max potentially, and your performance, both maximally aerobic. This is cardiac stuff, guys, and fat shredding stuff. This is amazing. So it increased the mitochondria in the rats. I'm the anabolic doc, no one's gonna give it to you clinically like I can, guys. You know I love you guys for that. So clinically, it, can it be used and what's the concept when you read about this for human beings, which are no human trials? Fat loss, fat burning, diabetes and obesity. We need to see where this drug is. We're developing amazing drugs, biologic agents to help with diabetes and weight loss. Where is this? This is gonna be in that regimen, in that milieu, if you will. So it increased Exercise performance, the endurance we talked about, cardiac, not muscle. It's not a muscle thing. 
But again, the abuse of it in the pad, in the underground, which is widely used and known to be used because it's not regulated. It's just for the, you buy it for your rat, wink, wink. You buy it for your lab rat. It's just fascinating to me. You got to give me anecdotes, guys. You got to give your stories. I want every man in the world, even women, of course, this is not a hormone modulator. So women won't lose hair on this, theoretically. They're not going to affect other parts of their body. But what is it going to do to people? We have no idea. That's why I need anecdotes and I need your story, how much you've tried, what were the side effects, and I don't want to hear where you got it from because this is not a sales place. I don't want any sales on this. I want straight, actionable, real, anecdotal information is on the anabolic doc, and that's what this channel is, open education for everywhere in the world ethically. Back to the presentation. Side effects. Based on... The, the chemistry, it's got super short half-life, the doses. Is it oral, is it pills, or is it the dropper stuff that you get from the peptide place, or is it injections? I, guys, you gotta tell me. This is not from pharmaceutical agent. This is not like one of these things that was really developed you know, to be a pill or intermuscular like a steroid, and it was actually a medicine, and now it's banned, and it's removed. This is not what, this thing is brand, this is crazy. This is a, this is a rev herb agonist in the circadian nuclear receptor upregulating genetic genes that produce these metabolic, this is where we're at today. So you gotta pay attention to this. So again, super short half-life, Supposedly in the underground from the, the research I did asking guys on the Anabolic Doc app, get into the app guys, that's where I'm giving all my medical information. Anabolic Doc app, we have great information for you. New videos only on the app, medical information, and then access to me on man-to-man -man meetings all over the world. So the, supposedly it's, it's 25 to 50 milligrams a day and it's a short half-life, so it's broken down. You need to take it four to six times a day. Now, if you look for the doses they gave the rats, there's a huge disparity because it was just huge logarithmic differences. I'm asking questions. How does the underground world come up with these doses? Can you guys help me? I want real bro science, guys. How, how does it go from the grams, the, the amount of milligrams or grams per kilogram weight of the, or grams for the, for the rat compared to the human, I, I just can't understand the math on this. So you guys got to help me. So guys are taking it. They know it's a short half-life. They're taking it. What are the effects? Obviously, it, guys will say it's a fat burner. Okay, it's a fat burner, right? So they're, ripping, they're using it at the end of their cycle before a show or competition or before they're going to go on vacation or, I mean, I guess you can't live on this stuff or before some event where you wanna get lean and ripped for summer or something. In the end of the day, they're using it with other drugs. They're using it multiple times a day. What are the side effects? Here are the side effects. These are real anecdotal side effects because I've talked to the men that, I, that I've they talked to these guys and they've used it. Headache. Now, sleep. Remember, circadian nuclear receptor Agonists, circadian rhythm and metabolism are intimately related, guys. That's why when you get a great night's sleep, you feel more energy. Aha! You see? It's all inherent. So when you look at this, it's going to affect sleep. Maybe some guys are sleeping like a baby on it. But you know what? There's no free lunch. I don't care. You take Ambien, benzodiazepines, you take uh, any medicine for sleep, you take... Uh, uh, side, you use cold medicines that, that have antihistamines to sleep. You're going to be groggy in the morning. You use medicine for circadian rhythm for sleep-wake cycle. I'm a doctor. I've prescribed all these medicines. I'm not mentioning the names. And what happens is it may work, and then you're going to pay for it somewhere because it disturbs the circadian rhythm. Here it is. This is it. So no wonder sleep, headaches, gastrointestinal side effects, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, cardiac palpitations, anxiety. Now, this is not true studies. This is just anecdotes. And guys are on so many other drugs at the same time, especially if you're getting ready for a show. So how do you really know what drug, do you, how do you know it's this that caused it? And you're getting it from a peptide site. So you think you know the best peptide site. You think they're really making this thing. Can they really make this 
exactly as Thomas Burris made it when he was at the Scripps Research Institute? I doubt it. So please be careful, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really want you guys to be careful and share this video and spread all my information and my care for men in the world that are using PEDS to understand the real science, the implications, the clinical side effects so you can make your own decisions on what to do. And please, you want more access to me, join the anabolic.app.com. Thank you very much.